Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, those of you who have seen some of the recent videos from Unnatural Vegan or seen my response video to her, you know she's one of the only YouTubers I can think of that goes out saying, hey, only crazy radical vegan people say that meat causes cancer. All us rational vegans, no, we don't believe that meat doesn't cause cancer. Well, I called her out on that in my response video, and I saw what she was doing. She was using the word cause in such a strict, strict sense like if you couldn't see the cause and effect happening before your eyes, she wouldn't say there's any causation there. I'm going, well, if you're going to think like that, if you're going to have such a strict standard, you wouldn't even be able to say that smoking causes cancer. So she made a response video to me in which she says, oh no, smoking causes cancer. I'm not denying that, but um, meat still doesn't cause cancer. So what I'm going to do in this video is respond to her because a lot of you guys wrote to me really confused still what's going on. And so I'm going to, this will be a very, um, hopefully not too boring, a more philosophical response video. You're not going to see all the fireworks that Vegan Gains or Durin Rider might do. I'm going to go through and show you exactly what's wrong with her reasoning. Being unwilling to say that animal products cause cancer or that meat causes cancer as I am is not akin to saying smoking does not cause lung cancer. The smoking and lung cancer link is incredibly strong and undeniable in various ways. The link is incredibly strong and undeniable. That seems to be her basis for determining if there's cause and effect, as she deemed as there is for smoking cigarettes and cancer. By the way, this strong and undeniable thing, this is not a part of science. It's not some standard that's in logic or anything like that. This is her own thing she made up for that last video. So I'm not even going to complain about that. I'm going to let her have that. So let's look at and see how well that stands up from the strength of the epidemiological studies that have found that heavy smokers are 20 to 25 times as likely to develop lung cancer uh, than non-smokers, to the fact that we know exactly how smoking, exactly how cigarettes cause lung cancer. If you really look at what she's saying there, she believes there is a causal connection between smoking cigarettes and lung cancer, which I do believe, by the way. The reason why she believes that is because there's some really strong odds from all the studies, and there's a known causal mechanism, some causal cause and effect pathway. Well, again, this is not some kind of standard in science. If you can prove those two things, you win. Um, but anyway, let's see how well this reasoning of strong odds and known causal mechanism holds up. Now her stat is correct that lung cancer is 23 times higher in male smokers compared to non-smokers. Sounds pretty convincing. Sounds like it's some really strong odds that nearly everyone who smokes is going to get lung cancer. Actually, no. She failed to also mention that a mere 15% of lifelong male smokers actually get lung cancer. Just 15 out of 100 lifelong smokers. I personally wouldn't want to take that 15% chance, but still, 15 out of 100 lifelong smokers getting actually lung cancer. Is that really the strong odds that she was, you know, all boasting about earlier that we need to have to see cause and effect? I'm not quite so sure. It's definitely not a slam dunk. Yes, I saw the doctors that Ryan quoted, uh, all undeniably biased towards vegan, towards plant-based diet. But it is interesting that they and other vegans and plant-based people <laughs> um, are the only ones making the animal products cause cancer or meat causes cancer claim. Again, the scientific community as a whole does not make those claims. So only people with plant-based biases make such bias cause and effect claims. How about the National Institute for Health? I think they are not a bunch of radical vegans. And according to their own website, heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are formed when cooking meat, cause, they use the word cause, cancer in animals, and also cause changes in DNA that may increase risk of cancer. A natural vegan said she was impressed with the overwhelming evidence of the epidemiological studies for smoking and cancer. So let's take a look at two of the largest cohort studies ever done on vegans and cancer. The EPIC Oxford study, the largest study of diet and cancer ever undertaken with over half a million participants, found vegans to be nearly 20% less likely to get all cancers. And the Adventist Health study found vegans to have a similar 16% lower risk of all cancers. 
So vegans have a nice but modest, you know, 20% decreased risk of getting all forms of cancer. Not a slam dunk, but neither was it for smokers. Remember, let's talk about strong odds here. Only 15 out of 100 smokers, lifelong smokers, actually came down with lung cancer. 15% increased risk. And vegans had a 20% decreased risk for all cancers compared to meat eaters. And therefore, meat eaters have an increased risk for all forms of cancer. So... 15% smokers, 20% vegans. It's looking like meat eating and causing cancers on the same equal strong odds footing that smoking cigarettes and getting cancer has. I see literally no difference. Now that we know her strong odds criteria for showing cause and effect does not work, Let's look at her other one, that is having a known cause and effect mechanism, knowing you know, how cigarette smoking actually leads to lung cancer. There has to be some kind of causal mechanism in place. And I agree, there's some strong ones for cigarette smoking leading to cancer. However, she denies that there are, there are equally strong ones for eating meat and getting cancer. And I disagree. There's some really, really strong known causal mechanisms that she just glossed right over. For example, a recent study from 2014 shows how a sugar molecule called NEU5GC, which is found in red meat, triggers an inflammation response that contributes to tumor growth. It was big news earlier this year with many major news sources covering this. And as it says here, rats that were fed that sugar molecule got five times as many tumors than those rats fed a normal diet. Sounds like a pretty plausible causal connection. And that's far from the only one. Dr. Greger of nutritionfacts.org has dozens of studies showing strong causal mechanisms. And I know people like unnatural vegans are saying, well, he's biased, nya, nya, nya. Well, he's just presenting the research. He's not the author of any of these studies. All these authors, for all we know, are non-vegans, and they're published in just boring academic journals, which have nothing to do with veganism. So don't dismiss the truth of these studies just because someone who happens to eat a vegan diet is the one holding it in front of your face. But let's see what he has to say. Cancer feeds on cholesterol. Transformed cells take up LDL, so-called bad cholesterol, and is capable of stimulating the growth of human breast cancer cells in a petri dish. As I clearly shown here, if you accept unnatural vegans' own criteria of strong odds and causal connection, eating meat causes cancer exactly in the same way that smoking causes cancer. No difference here. And I'm sorry I had to make this second video. I didn't really want to, but once I saw her response video to me, I see what she's doing there. She speaks very convincingly, very confidently. Like, you know, she speaks like an authority. You just kind of want to trust what she's saying. But once you look at what she's saying with really close scrutiny, as I did here, having to break out some big philosophical tools to do so, you see, her argument just collapses on itself. So anyway, uh, post your questions and comments down below. Let me know what you think. Promise we're gonna get back to some regular non-confrontational videos. It's not my thing to just, you know, tear apart people's arguments. So if you got something out of this video, hit like, comment down below. Tell me what you think about all this stuff. Um, subscribe to our channel up here or down there for more from Angie, who I'll get back on camera soon too here. And until next time, guys, keep it carb, baby. Keep it carb. And what about the meat industry's own journal, Meat Science? In their own journal, a published study showed that high consumption of certain meats increased the risk of colorectal cancer by 20 to 30%.